Most of the headlines involving Friday's massive trade between the Boston Celtics and Oklahoma City Thunder revolve around Kemba Walker and Al Horford, and rightly so. But there's another player in this deal that shouldn't be overlooked. M. The C's gave up Walker, the no. 16 pick in the 2021 NBA draft and a 2025 second rounder for Horford and center Moses Brown. The incentive the Celtics to make this deal is moving off of Walker's burdensome contract that had two years and about $73 million left on it. Horford is still a decent player and has a much more team-friendly contract, including a final year in 2022-23 that's only partially guaranteed. Brown is an intriguing piece, too. So let's take a look at what he brings to the Celtics. The basics. Age, 21. Experience, entering year 3. Height weight, 7 foot 2, 245 pounds. 2020-21 stats, 8.6 points, 8.9 rebounds, 1.1 blocks and 21.1 per game for Oak. He played in 43 games and made 32 starts. What does Brown bring? Brown is a talented young center who could provide the Celtics with valuable scoring, rebounding and shot blocking off the bench. Center depth is important, and the seeds were lacking in that area throughout the 2020-21 season as Robert Williams battled injury and Tristan Thompson missed several games while in health and safety protocols. If Brown was a prospect in the 2021 draft, he'd probably go in the middle of the first round, anywhere between no. 15 and no. 25. This lessens the sting of the C's having to give up the no. 16 pick in order to help get rid of Walker's awful contract. Salary and contract info. Brown is on a cheap contract through 2024, which is obviously beneficial to a team like the Celtics that is not far from the luxury tax. ESPN's Bobby Marks tweeted some important details on Brown's contract. Highlights. Brown's best game this past season actually came against the Celtics on March 27. He scored 17 points with 19 rebounds in the first half alone. He became the first player with 17 points and 19 rebounds in the first half since Shaquille O'Neal in 1998. Brown finished with 21 points and 23 rebounds in a 111-94 loss to the Celtics. Neither the NBA nor the Boston Celtics could let basketball fans catch their collective breath this week. After a week full of injuries, Chris Paul ending up in the COVID-19 protocol with the Western Conference Finals approaching, and Rick Carlisle potentially being added to the Celtics coaching candidates list, Brad Stevens made his first splash as president of basketball operations. The Celtics traded ailing guard Kemba Walker, the no. 16 overall pick in the 2021 draft and a 2025 second round draft pick to the Oklahoma City Thunder for Celtics fan favorite Al Horford, a 2023 second round pick, and a young center named Moses Brown. Though he's the least known name on this list, Brown might be the most relevant one for the Celtics' future. That seems like a surprising development given how the 21-year-old center's NBA career began. Brown came into the NBA undrafted out of UCLA and struggled at first to find his footing in the league. But his performance for the rebuilding Thunder last year makes Brown an intriguing young option at center for a team that needed better, more consistent interior play last season. He even showed glimpses of what he can do against the Celtics themselves. Here are a few things to know about Boston's newest young big man. He was an unlikely high school star. Brown didn't exactly come into high school with the kind of notoriety a Mikey Williams, Jalen Green, or Brony James did. But a six-inch growth spurt helped change that. He grew from 6 foot 8 to 7 foot 2 as a sophomore and turned into a force for Archbishop Malloy High School in Queens, New York while playing alongside Cole Anthony, now a point guard for the Orlando Magic. Brown earned McDonald's All-American honors in 2018 and ended his high school years as five-star recruit garnering interest from Kentucky, Maryland, Florida State, and UCLA, his eventual pick for college. Boston will be his fourth team in three years. Brown starred at UCLA, making the Pac-12 single-quote S all-freshman team during his only college season. But he went undrafted in the 2019 NBA draft.
He saw one game of action for the Houston Rockets during the 2019 Summer League before eventually signing a two-way contract with the Portland Trailblazers for his rookie season. He saw little action, averaging just 3.7 minutes and 1.2 points per game during his nine games. The young center then latched on with the Oklahoma City Thunder on another two-way contract, starting the season in the G League. He earned a NBA G League first team after season averages of 18.5 points, 13.9 rebounds, and 1.9 blocks before joining the rebuilding Thunder full-time. He had one of his best games against the Celtics. Brown played 42 games for the Thunder in his second year, making the first of his 32 starts on March 14. He notched his first double-double two days later against the Chicago Bulls, scoring 20 points and grabbing 16 rebounds. But he saved one of his best performances for the Celtics two weeks later. Brown scored a career-high 21 points and recorded his current best mark of 23 rebounds in the loss to Boston. The 23 rebounds tied Stephen Adams for the highest single-game total in franchise history. He also set the team record for rebounds in a half with 19 and posted the second-fastest double-double in Thunder history. Only his final game of the season against the Los Angeles Clippers minus 24 points, 18 rebounds, 7 blocks, earned him a higher game score, according to Cleaning the Glass.